Yo, what's up? What's up? What's up, YouTube? Um, all right, so this is Jason with Sound Design Studio here in the office again. Um, still messing with the stage connect stuff. Just kind of trying to see what what the deal is with it. Um, make sure you hit that subscribe button also. So do that. But um, I'm gonna show you a couple of things that I. I saw about the power um, just so you guys can know when you first set it up and don't make the same mistake that I did um, thinking that your device is, is messed up or uh, malfunctioning so let's turn this around um, as you can see right now both of my boxes have power, right? And as you can see, there's no power cable connected at all. It's, but they're both getting power from the stage connect connection on the back of the wing. So on my first video, I said that um, the, the wing didn't power uh, the boxes. That was a lie. Uh, they do power the boxes, but it's it's a little different on how you have to do it. So, what you have to do, I'm going to, well, let me show you this. So, this bottom box, if it's set from, from what I've learned so far, I mean, and like I said, if I'm wrong, somebody can correct me and let me know. But, if I turn the bottom box to master then basically it's taking power from uh, the power that's connected I mean like if you connect the actual power cable to it so uh, right now it's set <clears throat> to slave because it's slaving off of uh, the console so I'm gonna show you this I'm gonna set this to master and now you can see the power is off and I don't know why well it's still showing that a stage connect box is connected to that one but if you can tell that's the, that's showing the connection and this is the power light over here so if you see the power light we don't have power now watch this when I turn it off of that, look, I still don't have power. And what I'm switching is where it says master and these two are slave modes. So, <clears throat> and I'll show you this, even if I disconnect this cable, this is coming from the console. If I disconnect this cable and plug it back up to the box, Still, now we have power, and it, so you it's it's almost like so what I what I've seen is um, when you disconnect it and connect it back to the box, then it it's like it's almost like it's reset or something, and then the console will start sending phantom power. Uh, what's happened a couple of times is I'll disconnect that cable and connect it back and won't get power at all. But then when I disconnect it from the stage box port on, I mean stage box, stage connection port on the back of the console and plug it back up, then it starts back powering the boxes. And it does power both of the boxes um, I did check audio, so you are able to get audio back and forwards uh, and everything else with powering the boxes and sending audio of 32 channels with one XLR cable. So um, this one is more over just uh, power. I tried 
to plug the stage connect up to my hub for, but I'm thinking I probably need to um, update the firmware because I've been having my hub for for a minute. Uh, well, the hub for is for a minute, so um, maybe I need to update the software. So I'm gonna firmware. So I'm gonna do that, and um, then I'm gonna try it again. But <clears throat> I tried connecting from uh, the console to the stage connect. Well, actually it wasn't from the console. It was from the stage, uh, from the hub four box to one of these stage connect uh, boxes to see if it powered it. But it was almost like it didn't see it, it didn't power it at all or anything like that. So, um, like I said, I have to play with it a little bit more and kind of see what that's about. But so that's that's the power situation with these. Um, also, so they have to be in slave mode because even if you turn this top one off, as you can see, uh, well, turn it to master. As you can see, these lights go away. The bottom box stays on because it's still a slave and it's the first box set up. Now, if I connect my power cable to this box at this point, see, now we're back in business. All right. And then I'm going to disconnect the power cable. disconnect the power cable and it's crazy because now I'm good I don't know what that's about but <laughs> um, it's almost like when you flip it over yeah, I, I don't know it, it's almost like it, you have to re reset it or something but now when I flip it to slave we're still, it just went off and showed my stage connection. Now, watch this. It's in slave mode, but watch when I disconnect the power cord, I mean, not the power cord, but the, the um, stage connect uh, output out of the console. I'm disconnecting it and I'm connecting it back. Now both of them are back. So I'll just say when in doubt, disconnect uh, <laughs> the, um, the stage connect box I mean boxes from the back of the console and then just connect it to back to the back of the console and it sends power again so um it's a little weird to me and finicky to me but uh at least uh, we know how to fix it or plug up the power cable let it power up and then um so i guess if if you were in the middle of a show and you needed to connect that box and if you were using the other box at the time, of course you can't disconnect it from the console. So what you would do is take the power cable, plug it up to that box, then disconnect it after that if you wanted to. So, all right, well, that's my second video on the stage connect boxes. And as I learn more, I'll send more to you guys. Talk to you in a minute. Make sure you subscribe.